Hello, I am Flo and this is my channel Where Are They Now? I would like to just say I mean no harm or upset in any of the cases that I cover. With that being said, let's start our first case. Rick Durbin was 19 at the time of his disappearance. He disappeared on the 12th of May 2006 from Ipswich, Suffolk. Luke lived with his mum and sister where they were said to be all very close and loved each other very much. He also would often cut them food. He loved to play the guitar and enrolled in a music course at college. He worked a few different jobs um, over the next year until he took a more sort of permanent job at Greengrocer. Sadly, this would be a month and a half before he went missing. Luke was described as a loving lad and, you know, very chilled out, really. Uh, Luke vanished after a night out with friends. He was reported missing by his mum on the 13th of May 2006 because he hadn't returned. But sadly, up until this point, he's been missing a number of years. There's been a few sightings of Luke here and there. One near Fuchs Hill Stadium on the May the 12th, 2006, between 7 and 8 a.m. There was another one. He was seen in a Renault McGann between 11 and 12 on the 13th, 2006. Um, a classmate reported seeing him at a theatre in Derry, London. But obviously, these particular sightings never brought anything. These sightings I'm going to talk about now are after his night out. He was seen heading towards an express cabs. But sadly, he had left his wallet at his friend's house. So the lady in the cab office suggested him ringing his mum to, to maybe pay for the fare. And he refused to do that because he didn't want to wake her up. He was then next seen heading towards the bus station. This was about 4 a.m. And another CCTV camera caught as he was going this way that there was a Volvo 440 with false plates on it. Don't know if this has anything to do with this disappearance or, you know, maybe Luke jumped in with. We don't really know, but it was just strange that that Volvo was there with, with false plates. So after all these years, you know, his mum and, and his family have said this is completely out of character for him. He doesn't just disappear and not let people know where he is. Luke is 5 foot 10 inches. He has dark hair, bluey green eyes. Has two moulds each side of his mouth. Please, 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 if you've got any information, call 111, referencing 06005760. Born Richie, age 20, when he went missing. Disappeared on the 31st of October 2014 from Stritchen, Aberdeenshire. So he has actually been missing for a couple of years now. Sean was last seen running away from a farmhouse near the woodland outside Stritchen. So it's very close to the A98. He was in that area meeting friends for a party. At a different farmhouse, two calls were made to the police. One call was asking them to come out, and then a couple of seconds later, another one saying, don't bother. Couldn't find anything else about that phone call, and, you know, that was kind of that with that. Five days later, some of Sean's belongings was found. His trainers, a hoodie, and some other bits of clothing, but no sign of Sean. So people were starting to get a little bit concerned because he's possibly owed money to someone for a debt. But again nothing kind of was said after that it was just a theory searches were done on foot in the air in the water and on rough terrain with no luck there is a reward for any news on his whereabouts sean is five nine slim build fair complexion short mousy blonde hair blue eyes he was last seen wearing dark gray skinny jeans a white t-shirt gray hoodie and brown trainers if you know anything about where sean is please 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 contact 111 Garvey, age 15 when he went missing in 1987, so he has been missing for a number of years now. He was from Walton. Mark was last seen by a bus stop by the Jolly Miller pub on Queen's Drive. He left the family home to go and meet his 15-year-old girlfriend, but it seemed that Mark and his girlfriend had a bit of a disagreement as he found her with his best friend. Reportedly, Mark had left the situation in tears and was heading towards a bus stop but also reportedly he didn't have any money and his girlfriend lived three miles away from Mark's home. The children from Mark's school were all questioned with no luck and Walton Park was searched with dogs and also the loudspeaker was used to see if he was anywhere in that area. Mark's 51st birthday came around and went and his sister who was born after he disappeared promised to never stop looking for him. It's just not in his character, the family said. If you know anything about Mark's whereabouts, please call 111. There's not loads and loads of information on this case, but we're going to get it out of there nevertheless. Jordan Ratcliffe went missing 31st of August 2008. He was age 16. He grew up in Monston, Manchester. He was well known in his community and he supported Manchester United Football Club. He went to North Manchester School for Boys. 
His family hadn't heard from Jordan for a couple of days, so they reported him missing on the 8th of September 2008. There has been a few sightings of Jordan, but nothing has come to him returning home. 2017, Aston Canal was drained as part of a search for Jordan, but nothing was discovered there. Jordan is white, medium build, 5 foot 7 inches, brown eyes, ginger hair. There is a reward for his safe return. If you know anything about Jordan's disappearance, could you please call 111? Age 43, when she went missing, Denise Jarvis went missing on the 3rd of August 2022 from Gloucester near Bristol. Denise left the family home after a disagreement. There has been no recent activity on her phone and also nothing withdrawn from her bank account. So it does make you wonder how she's living because she has been seen on a few CCTV images. This brings us to one CCTV image um, in Kingswood, and there was also one near a co-op in English Side Road, but that was some time ago, and up till now, no one's heard from her since the 3rd of August. CCTV from the 26th of July shows her on a bus wearing a thin grey body warmer. She has blonde hair, she's white, slim build. If anyone knows anything about her disappearance, please call 999. Please subscribe, please be kind, and if you want me to cover any missing person cases, or you've got any info or updates on the cases that we have actually already discussed, our email address is on the screen now. I'll be back next week with another five missing person cases. Have a great week. Bye.